peeps. Um, it has been quite a while since I have done a straight up me talking to you about life and how it's going and um, I thought I better hurry up and get some new stuff on here. Um, so yeah, this is just give me an update on where I've been and what I've been up to and uh, just health and chemo and vaccine and all the good stuff so I try and keep it quick and painless um, so first of all it has been a while since I've done one of these sit down and chat videos because I've just um, kind of been struggling a little bit to be honest just with energy and fatigue and depression um, my one year anniversary, it kind of hit me hard. It hit me harder than I thought that it was going to. Um, yeah, I just you start thinking about, um, it's been a year and start wondering when the other shoe is going to drop and you just, your mind starts to run away with you. And, um, yeah, I had to get, uh, I had to get my mind right. And I started just saying my prayers and reading my scriptures and um, I found some, I stumbled onto, which I didn't never believe in, I believe God led me to stumble onto it, um, all kinds of motivational um, sermons on YouTube about how um, you're safe, God's got your back, worry does not get you anywhere, worrying takes time away from you, it takes life away from you, and uh, in the end it doesn't change anything, it doesn't change the outcome of anything, it doesn't change your situation, nothing changes, so why do it? So uh, yeah, I've uh, dug myself out of it, and um, also I got a week off of chemo, so that really, really, really helped with the motivation and the energy. It was just time for a break, about every three months, I find it's my body just gets a little bit worn out. Um, for the most part, chemo's pretty easy on me, but I, it, it, um, it builds up in your system and eventually your body just kind of wants a break. So I got a week off and it worked really well to negate some of the side effects and some of the neuropathy and numbness that I get in my hands. Um, so on that side and on that note, when, uh, when I told my doctors that uh, it really helped, um, they decided I was doing so well with the treatment that they could probably knock me back to every two weeks. So I just went yesterday and I don't go for two weeks. So I get an extra break and uh, then I go and then I get another two weeks after, like I get another week off after that. So it's like every two weeks through the Christmas season. So it's gonna be really, really nice. I can enjoy the season so much better. Um, so there's that for chemo because yeah, he said I'm. I mean, my blood's still doing really good, and I'm. He, the treatment's still working really well, so he doesn't want me to lose it. So he doesn't want my side effects to get too bad. So that's why I decided to do more of a maintenance thing. Um, yeah, some of the other things that got me down um, were just on top of like the chemo, like before I got my break, um, just the last couple weeks, I, um, my sweet baby kitty cat, um, has disappeared. He ran, I don't know if something, we don't know what happened to him. He just left on the last really beautiful day a couple weeks ago and he's never come home. So my heart is breaking a little bit for that. And then uh, on top of that, my lymphedema in this arm that's been stable and perfect for the last eight years has just decided to destabilize. And now I've got a little bit of swelling on and off in my hand and my wrist and it gets really tight and sore right in here. And anytime I do anything now I have to put my sleeve on, which truthfully I was supposed to do before. So I might have brought this on myself a little bit. I've never really worn my sleeve when I should. I've never done my stretches like I should. So I've decided to start doing my stretches and wearing my sleeve. And uh, it's actually really helped my hands sort of returning to normal. It still hurts a little bit in the wrist, but I'll deal. 
Um, then two days after that started recurring, then I like threw my back out right behind my shoulder blade. It's just been a whirlwind of a crap storm with my, my health, but um, my back got better. I'm fighting my wrist and hand back and whatever if I have to wear my sleeve. I don't care. It's small price to pay and uh, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Um, Health-wise, so that's, that's kind of it health-wise, I guess. It's just I'm sort of going really fast through this, mostly because I don't want it to drag out because I want people to actually watch and know how I'm doing. <laughs> I find if I drag on too long, it just kind of gets skipped past. But um, yeah, it's been just kind of a long dragged out, like health-wise, just one thing right after another. Um, yeah, I uh, we've also but we've also been doing good things. We completely reorganized our house. I now have my own cute little office with uh, my printer table, and I have a whole cabinet with all my paint supplies and canvases, and it's all clean and tidy in here. Got our spare bedroom back. There's a kitty cat sleeping on the bed behind me. My adorable little hero, or well, he has ours, but he's home with mom all day. <laughs> so yeah, I have like another little table that I'm just sitting on, so it's all good that way. It's quite warm. I'm sitting in front of the window actually, so I'm getting kind of warm. Um, that's why I knew not to wear the wig. Um, yeah, so we did that. We got our basement all cleaned up and organized. So we have been doing good stuff. My husband had a week off with me, so it was great. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a whirlwind. Now the biggest thing of all, I, I don't know if I should do a whole nother video on this or if I should just add it to this one. No, it's kind of a long spell, so I'm going to do it separately. Okay, so there will be a, another video to watch for after this one. Um, but I just wanted to give just an update for my health. Uh, I'm still doing good. I'm still, as far as I know, everything's stable. I go for a CT in December. They bumped it up, I think, because they're giving, they're doing every couple weeks now instead. Um, but if if that CT comes back good, who knows? It might be more than just this one cycle, because the cycle is about four weeks. Instead of getting four treatments, I'm only getting two. But if my CT is good and my blood work still looks good they might continue it so fingers crossed because it would be really nice to just dial it back a little bit for a little while just to let me just enjoy life a little bit more I mean I still do I still get you know but it wears out your body so much so it'd be just nice to have a little stretch maybe where I'm not going as often so yeah that was just my quick Here's how I'm doing right now and why I've maybe not been on here as much, just struggling. Um, but I battled back and I'm ready. I'm so, I'm I just knowing that I have two weeks off now. I went yesterday and I can breathe easy and knowing, uh, you know, I could take a day of rest. And I'm not thinking I've wasted a day. So, um, but just never a waste. Your body obviously needs it. Needs lots of rest. Drink a break. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you all know what, where I'm at and what I've been doing. And I'll do another video. Stay tuned for sort of part two from this. Um, yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll see you soon for part two.